Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how and where to get the highly talked about Moonvale Katana. To get this weapon, you'll need to head up to the Smoldering Church area in the northeast, where we will go down to Gale's Tunnel. Now if you've never been to this church, an NPC invader will spawn if you hang around, so either kill them or book it out of there. We will jump over this wall, and then hop up the rocks, and just keep the fort in the distance aligned with you until you come to a drop off. You'll drop down to the right, and here's the entrance to the tunnel. You can see we are here now on the map. You will then proceed down the path until you reach two enemies. Kill them, and then once they are dead, you will need to carefully drop down to each level down below. If you have a lantern or a torch, I would recommend using it for this part. There are lit candles, however, it can be pretty dim, but it is enough to see where to jump. This is the first gray sight of two in the tunnel. From here you will proceed into the tunnel where you encounter miners and soldiers. The miners are weak to magic attacks, so keep that in mind when attacking them. Once you clear them of this area, head left till you reach a soldier by a ladder. You can backstab him and then jump down. Turn around immediately and then kill the soldier as he is getting up. Then you can backstab the miner while he is not looking. Then you will keep going through the tunnel. You will pass the boss doors on the right, but instead, go straight through to unlock the grace site. This is something that you will need, I promise. Now go back to the boss doors where you will fight the boss. Often this boss will charge at you spitting lava right at the door, so get away to the left or right as quickly as you can. If you use spirit summons, I recommend leveling them up. Poor Jelly was only level 1. Be careful for the spin around swipe as it can be very harsh. Also when you dodge that slap he does, be careful as he drags his blade back which also does a lot of damage. Going for attacks on his head does the most damage with bleed, but you'll have to time them for when he starts spinning lava at you. I usually run left and then go back in for his head again. He will also start chasing you, leaving lava everywhere. Look for the path that has no lava, and move to the other side and you will be fine. This boss will require some patience, but it will be worth it.
Once the boss is dead, you will get a dragon heart as well as the Moonveil Katana. This weapon requires 12 strength, 23 intelligence, and 18 dexterity. It also has the blood loss buildup of 50 like the Meteoric Blade as well. This weapon has an overhead swipe FP attack, and it also has a swipe attack. Both are very fast and very powerful. This weapon is a little harder to get than the other katana, and it doesn't do as much physical damage, but it does a lot more magic damage along with the blood loss buildup. It is currently my favorite weapon, and it is very useful when you get invaded. Thank you so much for watching, stay tarnished, and have a great day.